Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, it's still Saturday, April the 17th, and it's 5.58 p.m. And now I have some recalls that are very important that I'd like for you to listen to. Because if you don't have a baby or one of these objects, you might know somebody that has. And two of these are really, like, deadly. Okay. Let's see. I have them pulled up. The first one I want to mention is about a baby teether. It's from WSB. Boy, that's some tiny writing. WSB-TV2 out of Atlanta. All right. Recall alert. Infant teether sold at Target. Recalled because of choking hazard. You ought to see this thing. I'm going to use it for my picture, uh, thumbnail picture. It looks like a monster. You want to give your little teething baby something that looks like a monster? An infant teether sold at Target has been recalled because it poses a choking hazard to babies. In a news release, the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission said the recalled item is Batats B Toys. Batats. B-A-T-T-A-T -T -T apostrophe S space capital B period. You couldn't think something better to call your business? Batat B Toys, Light Up Firefly Frank Teether Glowy Chews. Oh my goodness, a Firefly Frank, Firefly Frank Teether Glowy Chews. The teethers are shaped like a firefly and display blue, green, and red colors when shaken, according to the release. Do you know what luciferase is? And do you know it comes from fireflies and will make us light up green? Not us, but those who chose to take the CVV. Yeah. Fireflies and frogs, the kind that glow green at night. And now there's a baby toy that lights up. My daughter had a glow worm when she was a baby. Age appropriate, she was maybe one. She maybe got it for her birthday or Christmas. But she was born a month before Christmas. But anyway, it was like this this long and it was made in like three sections and when you squeezed it it would glow and this was uh she's 39 40 Did she turned 40 this year she'll be 40 no she turned 40 last year this is 21 Anyway, it made her cry. So I took it away and I put it up. And I don't think she ever did play with it. I find that prophetic. My kid, she gets messages. I just... Anyway, let me move on with this. The teethers are shaped like a firefly and display blue, green, and red colors when shaken. According to the release, Batat received 14 reports of the wings detaching or pieces of the wing breaking off, according to the CPSC. That's Consumer Product Safety Commission. The agency said one child choked on a broken wing piece. Well, that's enough to... to Say, hey, this is not a safe toy. All right, now, 
there's a small box that says recall alert and basically says the same thing and then shows the picture real small. Let's see if we can get it bigger because it was bigger earlier. Nope, it's not any bigger. Let's see. I'm telling you, the thing is ugly. I'll see if I can find it on Google Images. But anyway, uh, this was written by Bob D'Angelo, Cox Media Group, National Content Desk. Boy, Cox Media owns a lot of media places. They own the one where my daughter worked here in Birmingham, Alabama. Anyway, uh, moving on to number two from CNN Business. Now, to get this one. Peloton, P-E-L-O-T-O-N, Tread Plus, there's a plus sign, Tread Plus, owners told to stop using the treadmill in, quote, urgent warning, unquote. Yeah. And then, okay, it's by Jordan Valensky, CNN Business, from Saturday, April 17th. And they have a picture of it, like you, you're holding on to handles, bars, part, part of the way back, not all of the way back. And it's not very long. And it's kind of higher off the ground than any I've ever seen. And looks like baby could get its arm under that very easily. So let me continue. And it has a television on it. New York from CNN Business. A U.S. government agency issued an, quote, urgent warning, unquote, for users of Peloton's Tread Plus following multiple dangerous incidents with the machine, including a child's death. What was a child doing on a machine like that or near you when you're trying to read it and watch TV? Must have been a really good show. I have a baby screaming and then you realize, oh, oh, it's underneath me. Anyway, let me move on. In a news release Saturday, the Consumer Product Safety Commission said it has become aware of 39 accidents involving the treadmill, including, quote, multiple reports of children becoming entrapped, pinned and pulled under, unquote, the $4,295 device. The CPSC said it's urging customers with small children and pets to stop using the machine immediately. How about this? We put the children in a playpen and we put the pets in their outside the room and shut the door, even if they bark. If they're going to try to go up on the treadmill with you or up under it. I mean, it's only like three inches off the ground. So I could see, yeah, I could see that happening. But a baby? Oh my gosh. It pulled a baby up under it. I mean, it had to have been a very small child. The statement comes after a March incident with the machine that involved a child's death. Okay, so it took a child's death in March before they decided to put out a notice, even though there were 38 other accidents. Peloton CEO John Foley sent a letter to Tread Plus owners at the time saying 
The warning comes after a, quote, tragic accident involving a child and the Tread Plus resulting in unthinkably a death, unquote. The CPSC released a video showing a small child playing with a powered on treadmill while it lifts off the ground and the child becomes pinned under it. A video? Who would video that? It lifted off the ground and the child became pinned under it. The agency released details of other incidents. I, I'm just blown away that somebody videotaped that. How did, maybe there was something like a nanny cam in that room. Maybe the treadmill was in the child's nursery. Is that possible? Would that be possible? Or playroom. Because that's the only other place they could find to put it. Let's put it, in, let's put it in the playroom. And they have a nanny cam in every room. It's possible. Yeah, that's possible. With babysitters doing the things they're doing, they need to have nanny cams. If you're going to leave strangers with your children, you need them. All right. Um, yeah, I wish I'd have had them. The warning comes after a tragic accident involving a child and the tread plus resulting in unthinkably a death. The CPS released a video showing a small ch Okay, I said that. Okay. The agency released details of other incidents, including a child being injured when an adult was using it and pets and objects also being sucked beneath it, suggesting possible harm to the user if the user loses balance as a result. The thing must go really fast. It must be really powerful. And there are, like I said, the uh, arm things you hold on to, they're only like halfway back. It's not very long, so you have just enough room to put your feet. So it's for a very small space and has the little TV on it. Anyway, you can read more on that if you would like to. I'm going to move on to the third item. This is, this is another food item. It's uh, usually these... Pre-packaged hams are fully cooked. You can cut them open and eat them. But in this case, let me read on. Olimel, O-L-Y-M-E-L, Olimel recalls ready to eat. Yes, this is cooked and ready to eat. Ham for possible salmonella contamination. What is with all the salmonella? Is it that common? By News Desk on April 15, 2021. Well, here's a deal. If you have one, yeah, you could probably take it back to the store, get your money back, and go buy something else. But I'm wondering if you put this in the oven for an hour, at 350 to heat it up wouldn't that kill the germs maybe you'd have to slice it to make sure the heat got it. anyway you all have to pray over it and do what you feel you should do it's by the news desk on April 15th 2021 Oli Mel SEC dash LP comma a Quebec Canada establishment is recalling 6,804 pounds of ready-to-eat or RTE ham products that may be contaminated with salmonella 
enteritis, according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Food Safety and Inspection Service. The ham items were packaged on November 5th, 2020. Packaged on November 5th. The following products are subject to recall. That's been quite a while ago. Seems like it. Well, I guess they're packaged, though, to last a while. A couple of years, I would think, if they're canned. All right, it says... Um, these items are subject to recall. A 12-pound plastic film vacuum package of, quote, Celebrity Extra Lean Imported Ham, 98% fat-free, unquote, with product codes, quote, 20309 space 11 dash 9 1 11 dash 9 1 unquote and then there's another one another section is 20309 21 dash 9 1 and another one 20309 space 31 dash 9 1 or 20309 dash 5 1 I'm sorry, 20309 space 51 91 printed on the side of the packaging. All right, I'll let y'all read the rest. If you think you have this, check your cupboards or your refrigerator or your freezer or wherever you would put such an item. And uh, do what you think is best. Okay, I'm going to end this here. And. Um, With that, I'll say bye for now, y'all. I will talk to you later.